Parliament and usually there's lots of Remainers here making an awful lot of noise. But funny enough, it's Friday when all the, MEP, uh, when all the MPs have gone home to their constituencies. So there's no media here, so the Remainers are not here. But I've just met Stuart, who is here to say leave, then negotiate. So Stuart, we're going to leave, absolutely, and we leave on the 29th of March. And it really doesn't matter if we go to WTO rules, that's World Trade Organization rules. Then we negotiate, and that's the right thing to do. And why is that? Well, I'm not concerned about the money aspects of all this. I mean, on the original voting slip, there was two questions, either leave or remain. The money thing is, is, is subsidiary. What's more important is uh, things like freedom, independence, democracy. Those are the important issues, not the money thing. The money thing, we've been dragged into this money thing by uh, Theresa May. Oh, absolutely. And we, we knew exactly what we were voting for. 17.4 million people. If you, leave, if you believe this new independent group, they think that we didn't actually know what we were doing. We were thick, we were stupid, but we did vote to take back our sovereignty. Like you, I was here on the I was on the, here the morning after the vote on the 24th of June 2016 and that flag that flies over Parliament our union flag had more meaning that morning and it was five o'clock in the morning the sun was out and I thought you know what we have taken back control but I don't know about you but I feel really quite fearful that this might not happen on the 29th of March do you have that fear? Well who knows what's going on behind closed doors and there is stuff going on behind closed doors. Uh, but the important thing for me is freedom. You know, we have a history of fighting for our freedom and independence. Why give it away? Which we did do over 40 years ago. And I think that lot don't want to take back control because they don't understand how democracy works because they're not used to making laws. They're supposed to be lawmakers, but they left it down to me to press a button to say yes or no. But I wasn't making those laws. It was the unelected EU Commission. Now, we want to get rid of Juncker and Barnier and Tusk and all those people that are unelected that have no control over us. Do you have faith in, the, in these people to deliver what we voted for on the 29th of March? Uh, I don't have uh, a lot of faith in our system, basically. Uh, and I can remember I was quite pleased when we had the uh, European Convention of Human Rights, because I'm an anti-nuclear activist and I, I usually have lots of problems with the police at party conferences and such. Uh, and when you put it to the test, it's not there. If you try and take an action via Europe, you've got no chance whatsoever. You know why you've got no choice? You probably know this, because the parliament is made up of the far right, so-called far right, and you've got the extreme greens, and you've got the alt left, and you've got communists. It's something we don't have in this country. I mean, we argue that Corbyn's a Marxist, and I believe that he is. Um, but you have you have to compromise on every piece of legislation. So the parliament in the EU is not the same parliamentary democracy and makeup that we've got in the parliament, and that's what I object to: that communists and extreme greens and the extreme lefts and socialists actually have an input. Um, that's my personal opinion. I'm a Conservative, as you know. Stuart, thank you so Let much. Let me just get this one. Uh, um, for me, simplicity is really important. And um, I don't think people really understand the system that we live in. I don't, I don't understand it. So I'm sure that lots of other people do what not understand system? our system. It's complicated and it's, uh, it's a solicitor's dream world. The whole thing is, is run by solicitors knowing what, how to play the game. We don't have the knowledge to do that. But we did have the knowledge to, to vote no because the information was laid down. I know that you understood that and so did the other 17.4 million. Freedom. Thank you so much. Freedom. Absolutely. Freedom. This is Janice Atkinson reporting for the Rebel.media.